everyone! Today we'll be talking about the turtleneck sweaters. We'll make a sweater of a closed fit without tucks and with a turtleneck. Now I'm transferring the basic pattern to the tracing paper. I remind you that my pattern was made on the basis of my 10 measurement system. There is everything I need in it – sleeves, tucks, side seams and so on. I try to be very careful with it, it's very good. I've made the side seam in the middle of the pattern. The pattern is ready. The front, the back and the sleeve. I'll show you how to remove the tucks for a knitted fabric. This is the fabric I'm going to work with. Woolen knitted fabric with a cashmere edition. I like the fact that it stretches crosswise better than lengthwise. Now I'll go to an ironing desk to steam the fabric. I need to steam the fabric now, for it not to shrink later. The fabric is very nice. It's a woolen knitted fabric of a very good quality. It doesn't stretch too much. The edges roll up a bit, but it's okay. The fabric itself is very beautiful. The ornament is fantastic. These white parts are very thin. The width of this piece of fabric is 180 cm. This is how I'll place the front. I wanted to put the back this way first, but there won't be enough place for a sleeve left. I'll add a bit more for an overcast, because this sweater is for cold weather and it has to be warm. Now I'll divide the tuck. I hope you remember how to do it. You can see that the side seams are equal. I'll cut the armhole and the side a bit. If the armhole is too big, open the side more. Have a look at what I've done. Cut as much as you open. These points should match. I remind you that the side seam should match, so I cut as much as I open. How much should I cut off the shoulder? This is the back. The shoulder is 13 cm wide. So I measure 13 cm. I draw a mark here. I also cut 5 mm off the neckline on the both parts. This shoulder should be 12 cm wide. 
Don't be confused. Cut as much as you open. I'll tell you everything once again. I'll draw the cut in line and make a shoulder bias. This tag shouldn't be here, so I cut the same width of the shoulder. This tag was divided in three parts. I've changed the shoulder line for an armhole not to be so big. I draw an armhole by side because I know how it should look like. Be very careful and do not forget to change the shoulder line. Have a look here. This is the neckline, this is the shoulder, this is the armhole, these are the side seams, and this is the second shoulder. The pattern for a total neck sweater is ready. Let's start cutting. Notice that I've put the center front on a fold. Now have a look at the center back. You can see that the line is curved. For some fabrics, I need it to be curved, but not for a needed one. So I cut it this way. Even though my basic pattern is perfect, the needed fabric is an exception. Now I can finally start cutting. I can't draw anything on this fabric, so I start cutting using a ruler. I add 5 cm to the bottom. I don't really have to add anything for a side seam, but I'll add just a bit. Do not forget to make a notch on the waistline. This is the front. Now I'll cut out the back. When I take these two details, I'll cut the sleeves and a collar. I'll make a regular long tight sleeve. I add just a minimum for the seams. I've already told you that I don't like the needed fabric, but I understand that I can't do without it. I'll tack the center back next. There are no tucks here, so it won't take long to take it. I've already told you how to stitch the needed fabric without a cover stitch machine. 
I try hard to show and tell you a lot of useful information. This is going to be a pretty usual turtleneck sweater. Let's check the side seams. Always check the side seams when cutting. You can see that now they match. The front and the back are ready, so I'll tuck them now. When I tuck them, I'll design the sleeve. I hope you understand what to do so far. Have a look here. You've opened some here and here, so the shoulder is higher now. If I haven't changed it, the armhole would be too big. Have a look at what I'm doing. I'll tuck the center back and the side seams now. I'm not going to tuck the shoulder seams, because I want to show you how to work with an armhole. I'll measure it, because I have no idea of its depth and I need to cut the sleeve out. I try to tell you something new each time. There are no tucks, and I don't need to tuck the center front. I've added one centimeter for a seam, but I'll tuck two, because I'm sure that the fabric will stretch. I've tacked the center back and the side seams. Now let's have a look at the armhole. Match the seams. I've already showed you how an armhole should look like. So now you can see that this one is not correct. I need to change it. I see that I need to make it more round here. You can see that I've changed it a bit. Now I'll measure it to check. Do not forget that you should measure it without the addition for the seams. The length of the armhole is 52 cm. I didn't want the sleeve to be too loose, so I've made the armhole this way. I'll tuck the shoulder seams now, in order not to get back to this part later. 
After it, I'll be working with the sleeve. You'll understand what and how to do when you start working. This part is ready. Now let's move on to the sleeve. I don't remember how wide it is. It's 50 cm wide. I'll make it a bit wider and its top a bit higher. I'll show you how to cut out the sleeves in order not to have any problems with them later. Here I have the four layers of fabric. And just a half of a sleeve. You should remember the length of your arm till the elbow. 33-35 cm. The length of the sleeve with the Novacast will be 63 cm. I'll pin this point. I remind you that I'm working with the four layers of fabric now. Now I'll pin the point where an elbow should be. I know that my elbow is 27 cm wide, so I'll measure 14 cm here, pin this point. My wrist is 18 cm wide, so I'll pin 9. I can't write anything, so I'll cut through line on the pins. Have a look here. This is the sleeve pattern, this is the elbow, and this is the wrist. I'll start cutting from the edge of the sleeve. You can see this pin which marks my wrist. I add 1 cm for a seam and continue cutting. I pass the next pin, the elbow, and go further. I need to add a couple of centimeters here. This place will be attached to the armhole. I've also wanted to add some to the top. I also need to add some for a seam, so I add 2 cm. I add 2 cm just at the top, and then the addition turns into 1 cm. I've changed this part of the sleeve, because the armhole has become bigger. You can see that the lines are different on the front and the back. I'm not going to fix anything now. I'll mark the center of a sleeve. I take all the pins out. Now I'll fix one side. I start cutting one centimeter, and it comes to nothing at the top. This is the front, and this is the back. I'll try to write something with a blue chalk. It marks the front and the top. The sleeves are ready. Have a look here. I've made the sleeve a bit wider and higher. 
The elbow and the wrist were made on the basis of my measurements. You may think that I prepare some details in advance to cut that fast, but I don't. I always cut fast. I've already showed you a lot today. Next time I'll show you how to tag in the sleeves and make a collar. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Paukštė Irina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.